What's up, my beautiful people? So, before we start real quick, I just want to apologize about my frizzy-ass hair. I don't know what's going on. It's just been super frizzy lately, but whatever. You guys don't care, do you? No, we're here to watch a yummy, yummy-ass dick. Oh, yeah. So, I actually thought about a name to call this steak, and the only name I could come up with was, um, YOLO Steak. You guys get it? So, like, say you're at a restaurant and, like, you see this steak on the menu and you're like, whoa, that looks like it's going to give me a heart attack. But, fuck it. YOLO! You know? You know what I mean? Get it? <laughs> That's funny, right? Ha <laughs> If you guys don't know, I did recently cook a London broil and I did make a video on that and I kind of explained well not really explained but I just let everyone know like I am not a big steak person I I don't like it I would rather prefer something else over a steak but Devin and my daughter Skylin they absolutely love steak and every now and then I will cook up this delicious very unhealthy steak but it is Devin and Skylin this way they act this way I cook it of course they love it and they said it's the best steak ever in the whole world but also Devin says you can't really go wrong in cooking a steak because that's how much he likes it so but that is what this video is going to be about you guys um and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. I hope you want to watch more of my other, other cooking videos, which I do have a playlist, and this will be my 12th video. So yay! I'm excited about that. But anyways, you guys, let's just get to it and cook this YOLO steak. Thank you for cooking on this video, and let's just get to it. Alright everyone, this I have here is a ribeye steak. Uh, two actually came in the package that Devin bought, but I'm just going to be using one because Skylin and Devin are only going to be eating it. But right now I'm just going to season it and then leave it at room temperature for about 20 minutes. I usually use it, um, leave it at 45 minutes, which is the best. Um, but I'm just gonna do 20 minutes right now. Um, and also, I usually use this steak seasoning, but I am currently out, so all I am just going to be using is just salt and pepper, you guys. So you don't want a lot of salt because, or I'm not using a lot of salt because I did, um, I have salted butter, so I don't want it to be too salty, and also Devin does not like a lot of salt. He prefers pepper more than salt, so just season both sides, and then just let it rest, you guys, as long as you can. They say 45 minutes is the best, so... Alright you guys, so it is just seasoned up very well and now it just needs to sit and rest for a little bit at room temperature and then we will start cooking this bad boy. I have six teaspoons or tablespoons of butter. Um, I went ahead and put in three right now and then I will be adding three later. Um, again, so this um, idea I got from this guy's video uh, and the way he did it of course he had an iron pan skillet or um, cast iron skillet which I do not have and that's the best way for this type of way to cook your steak to come out is to use your cast iron skillet which I do need to get one and eventually I will but right now um, I'm just using my regular pan that I have on medium high heat and then I'm just going to brown all sides for about three minutes each and then I'm going to put the rest of my butter in and then I'm going to be basting that and I baste that um, for 15 minutes 
flipping um, on each side halfway through but that's the only thing guys about cooking a steak this way is it is a little tedious process because you constantly gotta baste it for 15 minutes this steak when it comes out it's so tender and is the easiest to cut but enough talking you guys so we're just going to heat up this butter and throw our steak in Alright you guys, so like I said, I usually just cook it 3 minutes on each side um, and then I also cook um, the sides of them for about a minute each so another 3 minutes on this side and then we will throw in our other butter Alright everyone, so now that you um, took both sides for 3 minutes, now just brown um, these sides. Oops, you just, I'm going to just rip, hold on. Okay, now you just brown all sides for about a minute each, that's what I do. So, we're almost to putting in that extra 3 tablespoons of butter and then we're just going to bake it for 15 minutes. So now that all the sides are stirred and down, we're going to flip this back over like that, and we're going to throw in the rest of your butter. Oh yes. And let that melt down, and I will now bake this steak for about six. Minutes. Doesn't that look good, you guys? Look at that. Oh my god, just swimming in a pool of butter. Like, how unhealthy can it get? everybody the steak is done look at that you guys oh yeah look at that came out great so now I just let it rest for about five to ten minutes I also go ahead and pour the rest of the juice you know why not? Just let it rest in this butter. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Doesn't that look great? Okay, you guys. I finished cutting it. And look at that. Doesn't that just look amazing, you guys? I cooked it a little too long. But it's okay. It's still pinkish. Devin likes it a little more pink. But Skyland likes it about this way, so it came out great, you guys. And you know what? I wasn't going to try it, but I guess I'll go ahead and try it and see how it came out. Alright, you guys. I'm going to try this 
on camera for you to see. You know, we gotta see how it tastes, right? Cook always gotta see how it tastes. Let's see. See? Mm. I do not like steak, but when you cook it the death way, it comes out so good, you guys. Oh my gosh. And it's really, really tender. Because the one thing I don't like about steak is you got to chew it forever. But, mmm. Not that kind. That's so good, you guys. You've got to try it. It's really, really good. So, that's the end of this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And, as always, I'll catch y'all on my next video. Mwah!